Welcome to a new vlog guys. Today we are in, in Senigallia, Italy. Let's go vlogging. Hey guys and welcome back to a new vlog today we're back in Italy and I want to show you a very beautiful town called Senigallia we are still in my home region Marche by the Adriatic Sea it's famous for its 13 kilometers long stretch of beaches a beautiful town center and also for the very well-known festival of the summer Jamboree let me show you Senigallia let's go Guys, we have just arrived in Senigallia. We are going to start the vlog at the beach and arbor area. Then we will move to the town center and at night we are going to check one of the most famous, if not the most famous uh, festival of its kind in Europe this summer, Jamboree. So let's go. So as you can see guys, that way we have the harbor and we're going to go there first and walk to the pier. So guys, we're going to check a statue which is a symbol of love and feminine beauty. Let's go. So the harbor on my left, the beach and the coastline on my right. A better view guys, we were there walking down here the beautiful Adriatic Sea and there there is the statue. And here we go, the Penelope. So this statue guys, as you can see, Penelope di Sinigallia is the symbol of faithful. So the statue of Penelope guys was born keeping in mind the story of Ulysses and Penelope. So basically she symbolizes the woman waiting for her man to come back from the sea. So she's also looking after all the fishermen, all the sailors who are out there. guys at the end of the first pier the yellow lighthouse and as you can see there's another one there red and another one there green but now guys we're going to go back that way to see something cool behind me guys you can see the beach called Spiaggia di Velluto Velluto actually means silk in Italian and that's because the sand is really really golden, it's really really nice, the water is really clear, so this beach and this place is actually really really, really famous for it. 13 kilometers guys of this beautiful beach. Let's do a 180 degree view guys, so you can have a look at the beach as well. 
So this is the symbol of the cultural and artistic side of the city guys and it is a meeting point for entertainment. As you can see guys the gate is closed so we cannot get inside but I'm going to show you what we have behind. Look at that! We're now going into town. Ooh, let's go, guys! I found something really, extremely, really, extremely cool. Look at that! Senegalia, the 6th of August 2021, which is today. Okay guys, just a little recap. First of all, if the video was muted, it was because there is very loud music, so I don't really want to go against the copyright. So just in case, I just put the writing on the screen for you guys because I couldn't really talk and explain what we were seeing. Anyway, the fortress, I wanted to go inside and I was about to pay the ticket, but you need the green pass, you know, so if you are vaccinated, you can get in. Uh, against COVID. I don't have the green pass so I am not allowed in so I'm sorry guys because I would love to show you there was also a photography exhibition but since we cannot go we're going to continue the tour We are in the heart of the town, center people. Okay guys, in front of me I found this enormous church called Chiesa del Portone because that door is actually very big and that what Portone means in Italian, a very big door. This church is actually from the Middle Ages guys and it was rebuilt throughout the years. Can you see how big it is guys? Okay guys, so this is the high street of Senigallia. We're going to go down that way towards the river now. Here we are people in Piazza Roma. Here we are people, a better view. So basically guys, here we are and this building here is the town hall. So these guys is Chiesa della Croce. Now guys, we are under the portico, uh, if you remember in Bologna we had the same thing, this is Porti Ercolani and as you can see there are lovely bars and shops on the sides. So guys, those are the porticos from outside and this is basically the entrance of the city and this is the bridge with the river Misa.
and this is Porta Libertina people. Okay guys, it's time for the so wanted ice cream. Let's go get one. I always tell you guys to get ice cream in Italy. This is vegan and it, it's delicious. Ooh, look at that, people. Moving on guys, we are in this big open space called Foro Annuario. Designed in uh, 1834 guys, this open space with its circular shape is now where they hold the fruit and veggie market. And where there are also bars and restaurants. Now guys that we've walked through the town center, let's go and check out the festival, the Summer Jamboree. It's about the 40 and the 50s American culture and music, so everything is going to be around that theme. It's very, very famous. It's actually the most famous international festival of its kind in Europe. A lot of people visit it every year, guys, so let's go and see what it can give us today. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed what I showed you about the festival. Unfortunately, because of COVID, people cannot dance, for example, so it's not like the other years, but it's still a very lovely uh, celebration. And I mean, it's really, really recommended in case someone comes here on holiday, it's a must. It's time to go back home, guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog in Senegalia. It's time to go back home. Thank you for watching. Let me know down in the comments what you think and I will see you really soon in the next video. Bye!